Here's a proof by mathematical induction, and it's an inequality, and it's basically a mathematician's nightmare. Prove that 2 to the power of 2n multiplied by n factorial all squared is greater than or equal to 2n all factorial. Now, this is a mathematician's nightmare because it's got every nasty ingredient possible, really. You've got... Um, uh, the n up in the index, that's gross. You've got a factorial, you've got that raised to a power. Um, you've got all these terrible ingredients um, that make this a really, really sort of uh, um, awkward proof to do. But we can do it if you stick with it and you're patient. Um, by mathematical induction, where do we start? Well, you've got to go with the first allowable value. Okay, So I think um, I got asked to prove this for uh, positive integers. And the first positive integer is 1. Okay, so let's give that a go. Left-hand side in this case, even just evaluating it uh, is pretty gross. So you've got 2 to the power of uh, 2 times 1, which is just 2. Then you've got uh, 1 factorial squared. Okay, so what do we got here? Well, that's 4. Uh, 2 squared is 4. 1 factorial is just 1. And so 1 squared is also 1, so it's just 4. That's, that's done. Okay. What about the right-hand side? Well, that's 2 times 1 factorial. Um, that's 2 times 1 by definition, which is 2. So in this case, the left-hand side is greater than or equal to the right-hand side, uh, which is great. So therefore, it's true for our first allowable value, which is always a good sign. Okay. Right, next step in a mathematical induction proof is I'm going to assume that the statement is true for some arbitrary value k. Uh, and k has to follow the same rules that n follows, so it's a positive integer as well. So what does the statement look like? Um, I'm just going to replace all my n's with k's, so you end up with this. And there's my assumption. Okay. Now, the third step, the real important step of the mathematical induction proof, um, which is I now want to, on the basis of that assumption, assumption, prove that the statement is true for the next value along, k plus 1. All right, so what does that look like? Well, um, what am I going to get here when I replace all the k's with k plus 1? I'm going to have uh, 2 to the power of 2k plus 2. That's this term here. Then I've got k factorial will now become k plus 1 factorial. Right? So that's k plus 1 factorial, and that's squared. I want to show you that's greater than or equal to. Now, when I, when I put the k plus 1 in there, it's going to become 2k plus 2 factorial. This is what I want to try and prove, which looks pretty awful. Okay, so how do I go about this? Now, you can see, I mean, many, many inequality proofs, you'll start with your assumption. You'll say, by assumption, this, and then you'll twist and turn this to try and get it into this form. But you may have seen, if you had a look at some of my other videos, that another common strategy is to take this, um, manipulate it a little bit, so that you've got a statement. Um, that you can actually know to be true. Now, you can't actually write this, because that's what, that's what my final line should be. But I can say, consider. So what I'm going to think about is, what would happen if I move this part over here over to the left-hand side? Okay. So what it would look like is, uh, you know, uh, 2k plus 2 times k plus 1 factorial squared minus this extra part. Okay, now, if I can prove that this black line, if I can prove that that's true, then that means that I've proved this is true. And this is something that's a little easier to work with. It's proving that something is positive. Uh, we can use all sorts of um, algebraic tricks to help us there. Okay, So what we'll do is we'll consider just the left-hand side. Let's look at that. 2 to the k. Sorry, is that 2? That's, that's meant to be a 2 there, isn't it? 2 to the 2k plus 2 multiplied by k plus 1 factorial or squared minus 2k plus 2 factorial. Okay, so I'm going to think about this line. Now, the first thing I want to do is uh, it's, it's very complicated at the moment. There are some things that I can expand, and I want to expand it in such a way, I want to expand this line in such a way that I can use my assumption. Okay, so watch, watch what will happen. I'm looking for this, this part here. Okay, the 2 to the 2k and the k factorial all squared. 
um, because I know I can see it somewhere in here if I can expand it right. So let's do that. This 2 to the 2k plus 2 is really um, 2 squared, sorry, this is equal to 2 squared times 2 to the 2k. Yeah, that's just by index laws, okay? And what do I have in here? Well, this is, if I break this apart, k plus 1 factorial um, is really k plus 1 times k factorial. Okay, so no, no big dramatic changes from there to there. I've just taken the, the, the largest term out. And that thing's all squared. And uh, I'll leave this guy over here for a moment. We'll, we'll mess with him in a second, okay? All right, now, what was the point in me, number one, breaking apart the index here, and number two, breaking apart this factorial? Well, I'm trying to get at this. There's that 2 to the 2k there. See it there? And k factorial all squared, it's right there. Okay, so I just need to uh, break this apart a little more. Um, if I've got uh, this 2 squared becomes a 4, um, that 2 to the 2k, I'll leave that there. Now here, this is the square of a product. Okay, that's a product in there and that's the square. So the square of a product is the product of the squares. So I've got a k plus 1 squared and then I've got k factorial squared. That's, that's, I've got that, that, those two terms out of this term. Minus 2k plus 2 factorial. Okay, so I'm almost ready now. Let's have a think about this. Uh, remember, what I'm, what I'm after is, is this component here, okay? So just to make it really, really obvious, let me write these two parts in this line together, okay? So what I've got is now um, 4 at the front. I've got a k plus 1 all squared there. And then I've got, multiply it by 2 to the 2k, k factorial all squared, okay? And there's this piece here. Okay, now, you all watch this. This is the tricky part. In terms of logic, this is what's confusing, okay? Have a look at that piece there, right? Now, on the basis of my assumption, I, I can know something about this piece, namely, that that piece there is bigger than 2K factorial, okay? So, um, I know that this piece is there already. If I swap it out for this piece, okay? So, I say... What happens if I leave everything else the same, but I swap out that piece for a uh, 2k factorial, okay? Now, everything else in the line is the same, okay? So what's the relationship between these two? Well, we said we assumed that this is bigger than that, okay? Namely, that this is bigger than this, okay? So therefore, since that's the only thing I've changed from this line to this line, right? And this is bigger than that then I should know this entire line should be bigger than this entire line, right? So therefore, this equal sign is no longer an equal sign. It's an inequality, okay? This entire line, because of this swap, is greater than or equal to this line by assumption. So this is the part that's actually mathematical induction. I've, I've used the assumption now. And now I want to see if I can prove that something to do with this, okay? Namely that it's greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so watch this. How can I do this? How can I prove that this is all greater than zero, that it's positive? Well, I can see that this factorial here and this factorial here, um, I, can, I can do some factorizing here, right? Because this 2k factorial is hidden inside here. Okay, so let's, let's notice that. For starters, I'll, I'll just expand that. That's gonna be k squared, 2k plus one. Then I've got my 2k factorial here. Now. 2k plus 2 all factorial, right? What it really is equal to is 2k plus 2, 2k plus 1, and then all the other ones, which is 2k factorial. Yeah? You see how uh, all I have to do to turn a 2k factorial into a 2k plus 2 factorial is multiply the next two terms along, okay? So now that I've broken that apart, I can factorize out 2k factorial. I see, I see them both there, okay? So let's stick that 2k factorial at the front. Okay, now what's left? Well, I've got four lots of this. That's going to be 4k squared plus 8k plus 4. And then I'm going to subtract. Now, what happens when this is what's left after I factorize, right? What happens when I expand those? Well, I'm going to get a 4k squared plus 2k plus 4k plus 2. That's just the expansion. 2k all factorials at the front. Okay, now you can see some cancelling is going to happen here, right? This 4k squared and this 4k squared will cancel. 
I've got 8k here and I've got 6k here. So when I subtract them, I'll be left with 2k. And then I've got a four and I subtract a two, so that leaves me with two. Okay, so what have I established? Well, I've got this result, right, um, at the end. And I know that what I started with is bigger than this. But all of this, right, um, all of this must be greater than zero. Um, since, you know, this guy, it, it's, it's, it's going to be positive, right? Actually, he's not even included in the boundary um, because k is going to be positive. Um, and also 2k plus 2, that's also positive. So if you're multiplying together two positive numbers, then the product will also be positive. So that's why I can say the whole thing is positive, okay? All right, now, therefore, whatever I started with, whatever I started with, okay, is greater than zero. Now, what did I start with? I started with this, okay? So now I'm going to take that original line and I can say, Therefore, 2 to the 2k plus 2 multiplied by k plus 1 factorial or squared minus 2k plus 2 factorial. All of that is greater than or equal to 0. That's what I just established. Okay, So now I can um, kick that, that term there over to the other side. Um, 2k plus 2 factorial. And what is this? What is this? Well, what's the significance of it? If you go all the way back, that's what I was trying to prove. Namely, that the statement is true for n equals k plus 1 if I use my assumption. Okay, so I've established that. Therefore, it's true, the statement is true for n equals k plus 1, given that it's true for n equals k, which is our assumption. Okay, and um, that's, that's it, really. Now that I've proved it true for um, k plus 1 if it's true for k, and since it's true for 1, the first allowable value, that means it's going to be true for all of them, uh, which is the principle of mathematical induction. The statement is true for all the values that we were um, stating before, which is the positive integers.